What's up guys? What's up cycling fanatics? Today I'm riding with the US hill climb champion and former Cannondale pro cyclist Phil Guyman. And in this video we're gonna give you three pro climbing tips. We'll talk about how to pace your climbs, how to train on climbing in flat terrain and how to train for a set climbing goal. So check it out. If I think easy at the beginning, I think hard at the end. My power is the same. What's up guys? Cycling fanatics. Monday morning, uh, I'm in uh, Los Angeles, California. And today I'm meeting up with Phil Guyman. So you're all about the cookies, right? That's right. Oh, I've got these uh, stroopwafels yeah. from Holland. That's a Dutch cookie. I'm, a, I'm aware of these. I've had these. These are good. It's not a cookie, but it's good. Sort of. <laughs> Can I eat one? Sure. Definitely one. So today we're going to do some climbs. We're going to do some descents. We're in uh, the Malibu Hills where I have ridden a lot. I usually take the bike out here, which is two hours. This time I went on the car. I'm going to be riding with Phil. We're gonna shoot some footage for his channel and of course I'm gonna give you some good tips or actually Phil's gonna give you some good tips about climbing so make sure you check out the rest of the video right now this is Milholland Highway Okay, so that's 26 minutes and 40 seconds. We've got a flat. Bad luck. Bad luck. The route of today, we're gonna go up Puma, we're gonna go up Latigo. We're gonna be descending Las Flores and we're gonna be descending the snake section. I've been on the snake section before, but today I'm gonna be following Phil and I'm gonna be filming him on the descent. So that's gonna be really cool. All right, back on the bike. We're getting close to the first climb, which is uh, Puma. I'm riding with Phil, which is the national hill climb champion. I'm just a bunch sprinter, so I hope I can keep up with him. But we'll see. He told me he's going to take it easy, so that's good. For me, these roads are pretty well known. I've been here a lot, made some videos about it. Click up here if you want to see previous time I was riding up Piuma. In that video, I'll give you some tips about food during riding, clothing and all the stuff on the bike, so check it out. All right, guys, the three best climbing tips from the one and only hill climb champion of the United States. We're gonna be starting with pacing. Phil, take it away. The way I pace climbs is I'll divide it into thirds. The first part, and when you look at your power, you look at your heart rate, but mostly you think about how you feel, is I'm just thinking easy. If the climb is 30 minutes, the first 10 minutes, I'm thinking just go easy, just go easy, and then the second third, I'll be thinking steady. You just focus, keep it strong. And the last third is when I'm going for it. If I think easy at the beginning, I think hard at the end, my power is the same. That's how it feels. That's where you pace the climb. Yeah, I can agree with what uh, Phil said about pacing. If you, if you start the climb feeling hard, you're probably gonna push way more than you want to at the base of the climb. So if you feel it's sort of easy, you'll probably be able to keep that power on until, until the end of the climb. Good tip, number one. I'm breathing heavy back there, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, dude. <You> okay? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the hill climb champion of, uh, of the US. <laughs> All right, we are 
at the top of Piuma. I expected to be having like a super, super, super hard time staying with Phil, but I think I'm still okay. He did fine. <laughs> I can I can notice he's not like whistling uphill. He's at least he's pushing a little bit, so satisfies me a little bit. Right now we're gonna switch cameras. I'm gonna film him on a descent. Let's see how he, how good it is down because he said in the video like riding downhill doesn't count. No, riding downhill is pointless. You're just coasting. It's not worth anything. You're not even exercising. You're just sitting there. There's no reason for it other than it's pretty. I think riding downhill is the best thing there is, <laughs> so let's do that. downhill it's a very nice descent there's a short piece that's pretty tricky it's steep with uh, a lot of sharp bends so be careful on that one but while we're on the flat it's time for tip number two when it comes to training for climbing on a flat country so I used to live in Florida where there's no hills at all it's the, the Netherlands of the United States I learned the way to train, if you have to train for climbs, but you don't have any climbs, is you find a headwind, you ride into the headwind, and you ride on your tops, like this, just like you're climbing, so that same position, and then you put it, you put it in your hardest gear. So you have in your hardest gear, you just ride like this. And I would just do one hour like this. It's almost climbing. Into the headwind, low cadence, hands on the drops. That's how you train on a climb in a flat country. All right, we are at Latigo. The KOM is set on like 31 minutes. The third tip is gonna be on this climb, so stay tuned. All right, seven minutes into uh, Latigo. I'm doing 375 average. Phil's doing whatever I'm doing. <laughs> I'm on my FTP right now. It hurts, we're going fast. It hurts you more than me, but it hurts. It hurts me more than you. Help. Welcome back to Los Angeles. Woohoo! Check it out, dropping Phil Guyman. 29 minutes in the climb, 360 watts average. Dying. This is the summit? Okay. Of course I didn't drop him. He just slowed down to then fly by uphill. 30, 30 minutes, 25 seconds. Hey, it's fast. It's okay. I forget what the let it go canyon. Really, really awesome climb. I'm gonna let uh, Phil give you the third and final climbing tip so I can rest and recover a little bit. So when you're training for a climb, you think about how long the climb is. So say if the climb is 30 minutes, but what you want to do, you set your goal, either your speed or your power, if you have a power meter. You said, this is the power that I want to do for 30 minutes. And when you're training, you split that up. So say if you want to do 400 watts for 30 minutes, then you'll start, you do six sets of five minutes at 400 watts, if you can do that. And then the next time, once you can complete that, you do three sets of 10 minutes at 400 watts. So you reduce 
the number of efforts and the rest in between. So each time it's a total of 30 minutes at that effort, but you have rest. And then you do two sets of 15, and then you should be ready to do one set of 30 at the power that you want. So you just divide it up, and that's how you win. All right, so we went up Piuma, went up Latigo. Now we're gonna descend on Milholland on the snake section. I've got another video about the snake section, but this will be me filming Phil again. So you can actually see somebody riding in my videos, which is cool. I just descended down uh, the rock store descent or the snake of Mulholland. Right. right here is the rock store, and uh, yeah. Big fan of the Fondo, by the way. There we go. Big fan of the Fondo. Yes, he's a I'll be there. Fondo fan. I'll be there, not winning. Unless Mike Woods is there, then I'll attack him. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so more pros on the Cookie Fondo. That's cool. Yeah. Maybe I need to go on the Fondo. I think you absolutely do. So you're not going on the Fondo? You're I'm gonna come on the Fondo. I'm gonna try now. Oh yeah. This guy has, so every every car commercial. That's the view. Every car commercial you see on TV, there it's that climb, that descent right there. Exactly. And that's why it's so famous. The Snake of Milholland. Everybody comes here to ride their motorbike, to drive their car up and down as fast as they can. And uh, it's a nice descent. Maybe. It is. So we just did those two descents. And if you want to see the full descent filmed from my bike, with Phil in the view, go check out his channel. He's gonna put them on his channel, so check that out. gotta go when you gotta go one o'clock i thought it would be cold but compared to two days ago in holland wind force seven and freezing temperatures this is heaven really 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 awesome how far is it back home uh, back home maybe half hour half an hour minutes, yeah, we're close. sweet yeah. we've been riding for almost three hours yeah we'll so. three and a half. cool chasing the coyotes <laughs> I was really uh, hoping he wouldn't bite. And he didn't. It's just so. a dog, you know? A dog? Pretty much a dog. Okay, it's just a dog. I mean, it could eat you. Do dogs can bite. <laughs> yeah, no, it could bite. We uh, just finished the ride and uh, we're having some food. Post ride recovery food. This is, this is Peddler's Fork. Uh, every bike ride around Calabasas and, and Malibu either starts or stops or ends here. Um, coffee shop, bike shop, restaurant. Uh, it's, it's everything you need in a bike, really, in, in your whole day. So we had to definitely had to include that in our tour. Yeah. Is it is the Cookie Fondo coming here? Uh, the VIP dinner is here. The VIP dinner of the mm -hmm. Cookie Fondo is going to be here. So uh, the Cookie Fondo. Just check uh, check philsfondo.com. <laughs> philsfondo.com. Yep, thanks. Uh, you'll find out what the Cookie Fondo is. Basically, it's a uh, thousand people riding a really awesome route here in Malibu. Uh, Phil's gonna do it. A lot of pros gonna do it. I'm coming. I'm, I'm gonna be. Tr I will try to be on it this year. Yeah. Well, guys, I can say it was a really cool day riding around with Phil. Uh, if you like the video, if you think those were good tips, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See ya! <laughs> so we just did that two descents. If you want to see the full descent, just go to two... two if you want to... <laughs> so we just did... Fuck! Fuck me! LA, California. Boom. L. A. L.
Hey. One little mistake on the video, but for the rest, I think it was pretty good.